right, so during that growth phase and during that switch and that divergence from a centralized system to a decentralized structure, there's going to be continual growth and it will ultimately deal a death blow or tax your systems if you stay inside of that centralized structure. So along with that structure, there are two topics that I've already mentioned several times, and I wanna make sure we understand that technically or typically technology and communication are the big two factors that deal with that switch of the underlying operational strategy. Internal communication from the executives, i.e. managing broker, to lower level management or teams is going to be a paramount concern, especially during that growth phase, all right? So whether the change comes from a change in the company policy, any uh, procedure, an administrative law, any of those changes that happen in the operational strategy have to be communicated internally and there has to be a process for that. Also, we have external communication, externally communicating to other vendors, customers for marketing, clients, uh, all of those other problematic issues with communications are going to raise its head during this growth phase, like social media posts. While it's a one person, you know what is right, or you know what fits your morals or your ethics. But if you've got a hundred agents, do you have a social media policy on what they can and can't post? That's a change in an operational structure that you now have to create a social media plan specifically designed for external communication. That is problematic and that is part of that growth change or that operational shift from a centralized one person making decisions to a decentralized several people making decisions. So that is just one issue is the communication. The other one that in which we could have a uh, huge discussion about probably a whole class on is just the technology change that is going to evolve. Automation, being able to leverage various tasks. There's companies out there. One example that I want to give you is Hootsuite. Anybody ever heard of Hootsuite? Hootsuite is one platform in which you can post a social media post and then it will go out and post that one post on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Reddit, all of those associated others, thus leveraging your time. Even if you write one, hit copy, log into the other one, paste, copy, paste, log in, paste. Hootsuite allows you to leverage all of them in one time. You connect those uh, social platforms to Hootsuite, write your one post, hit go, and it goes to all of them. So that is a change in technology. One of the largest changes in technology, think about it, you guys have probably already adopted it. The e-sign. How much easier has that e-signature, electronic signature, changed your business model? Because now you don't have to drive to the north side of Indianapolis or the south side of Miami to get a signature or to another city or to another state because we now have e-signatures. It has changed that technology platform has allowed us to leverage technology to become more productive because now I can send three emails on three different deals to three different people and get signatures in 10 or 15 minutes as opposed to loading up in your car and driving to the west side of your town and then driving up to the north side of your town and the south side of your town and then back home. Plus you had to coordinate schedules because, hey, I think I'll be there in about an hour and I'll be over at your place in an hour and a half. But now you just send it, they respond to it, you get signatures back. 
So you need to understand that leveraging technology is a huge benefit. Now, one of the things we mentioned earlier was this ramp up technique. Ramping up technology is very crucial to avoid any kind of growth pains. And growth pains can, in essence, also almost be a death blow. Listen to any podcast on any company. And I think the last one I'm a, that I can drastically think of, ah, dude, I cannot remember the name of the company, but they put something out and they were selling it. And they thought if they could sell four or five in the first month, that they would be on track to be a very successful company. Well, as it turns out, they sold like thousands in the first day and it shut their system down and virtually almost killed their company before it even got started because they tried to jump from one to another. You probably should ramp up your business. Uh, CRM, great example. You don't want to go from zero to Salesforce. You know, I tell all new agents, do you have a CRM? And they don't even know what that means. So I said, okay, why don't we use Excel out of the gate? Put a person's name, their email and their phone number on a spreadsheet. Keep that spreadsheet. Use that spreadsheet as your CRM. Then as you maybe get 50 or 100 names, we might want to look at Send in Blue. Maybe that's a good system. And then if you get 60,000 names, now you may be leveraging up to Salesforce. So that is a uh, thought process of growth that is a ramp up in your technology. You may need to think about that. I started with a word, well, actually I started with Moodle. I don't even know if anybody even heard of an open source program called Moodle. I went from Moodle to a canned uh, learning management system. Then we hired our chief technological chief technology officer who wrote a specified program for the school. So we ramped up. I didn't go straight from, you know, teaching it on paper to hiring a CTO and costing 20, 30, $40,000. We ramped up slowly so that we could feel the pain easily and solve the problem rather than jumping in the deep water right out of the gate. So don't let it be a knee jerk reaction and go, oh crap, we need Salesforce tomorrow. <clears throat> I need Blackboard tomorrow. Try to make sure there's a strategic plan in that growth. Same thing with your technology or your communications portion of that. You know, maybe you go from uh, emailing them to a Facebook messenger group and then from a Facebook Messenger group, you leverage up into Slack or your own custom designed app, specifically targeting your agents so you can communicate with them. I don't think you would want to go from nothing to hiring a programmer to build you an app so that you can internally talk to 40 agents. There is a few steps between there that you should uh, visit before you do that. So in that growth process, think about communication, both externally and internally, and the technology that can be leveraged. And we didn't even come close to talking about any of the number of technologies that could be used. Your marketing technology, you could use tracking pixels, you can use uh, mirror groups on Facebook. You could use all of these different ways to leverage the technology to help you get a better exposure, save a bunch of time and allow you to scale, which is the new cool word for growth. I want to scale the brokerage into a hundred agents from 20 to a hundred. Well, technology now has us a way to do that much faster and uh, concedingly way better than some of the old ways. All right. So keep that in mind. Don't just jump knee deep into the water. Actually, that's not very deep, is it? It's probably about don't jump in over your head into the deep end. That's a better way to look at it. 